fam, what's up? It's April here. Today I thought it would be really fun to go through all of the signed books that I have in my collection. There's actually a lot more than I was expecting. Just because I have a lot of signed books doesn't mean I've met a lot of authors. I've only met two of these authors and that's it. So let's get started. So back in 2015 or was it was it last year? I can't remember but Sarah J Mass came to Australia to Supernova and I was first in line because I was there way too early and I got these signed and I also got another copy of Queen of Shadows signed and did a giveaway with it. Um, so these are all signed but the only one that's personalized is the first book, Throne of Glass. You can see it is personalized there. These are like my most prized possessions because this is my favorite series after Harry Potter and if I met JK Rowling and had a signed JK Rowling book I would actually die. Next we have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Um, we just had a bunch of signed copies of these at work. I don't know why because I live in Australia but we got some. There you go. Actually this looks like a like page that's been glued in maybe. I don't know. Next we have The Body Electric by Beth Revis. She's one of my favorite sci-fi authors and so I pre-ordered this from like the special indie bookstore um, that you could get the limited edition. This is number 131 of 350 copies that were available. So that was exciting. Then we have The Great Zoo of China by Matthew Riley, who is an Australian author that I absolutely love. This book is amazing. It's like Jurassic Park, but with dragons. And one time he came into the bookstore that I worked at, but sadly I wasn't working that day. But my friend gave me a signed copy of my favorite book of his. Thank you, Mel. So yeah, I'm really happy to own this. Then we have The Boyfriend List by E. Lockhart. I ordered this, I think I ordered this on Book Outlet and it didn't say it was signed but it came signed, so that's exciting. Oh, I lied, I've met three of the authors on this list. This next one is Whisper by Chrissy Keery, which I recently talked about in my latest anxiety recommendations video. I met Chrissy when she came into the bookstore that I worked at, and she gave me a signed, personalized copy of her book Whisper, which was amazing. Then we have Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff. I ordered this off Booktopia because I had signed copies with both of their signatures. This series is then we have the third author that I met, and that is Abby Glines. She signed my Too Far trilogy. This is a new adult romance trilogy, and she was so nice. And these books are trash, but I love them. Then we have Victoria the Queen by Julia Baird. And this is a biography all about Queen Victoria, obviously. And this is another one that I ordered because it was signed. This is like one of the largest books I own. And I still haven't read it, but I really want to. And then we have Before I Die by Jenny Downham. This is one of my favorite contemporary books of all time. I've read it so many times. And I have a really beat up paperback copy, but I found a signed hardcover on a books one day. And I decided that I really wanted to buy it. So I did, and it came in like this protective cover and there's the signature, and I love this book. And then we have a stack of Alcrate books, which I don't know if they count because technically the authors only signed the book plates that go in the books, but I'm gonna mention them anyway. These are in no particular order, but these are just the ones that I have on my shelves. So we have Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. And this has a really pretty signed book plate. Daughter of the Pirate King by Tricia Levenseller. Another cool book plate. The Glass Fair by Lauren De Stefano. I think this was the most recent Alcrate. Before She Ignites by Jodie Meadows, which I am so excited to read because it's a fantasy with dragons and I think the main character has anxiety. Yes. Then we have Three Dark Crowns by Kendall Blake. This is kind of an older one. And then we have two of my favorite books that I read this year. One of them is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. She says, fight your monsters. Yes, ma'am. And then last but certainly not least, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Now this is actually the original cover because I like these colors more, but I put the original cover over the Alcrate book that I got with the book plate in it because I'm sneaky. So those are all my signed books. I am so super lucky to have them in my collection. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys soon in a new one. Goodbye.